Cosette Learners. I am Mrs. Laura Cosette and I'm going to discuss recursive form of a sequence. The learning objectives for today, we have find the next terms of the sequence given the first term and the recursive formula. And write the recursive formula given the first few terms of a sequence. There are two forms of a sequence. And the first one is recursive form and the other one is explicit form. I am going to discuss only the recursive form of a sequence. Now, what is a recursive form? It is an expression used to determine the nth term of a sequence by using the term that precedes it. We also have a recursive rule for a sequence. And what is this? A recursive rule for a sequence is a formula which tells us how to progress from one term to the next in a sequence. I will give you examples on recursive form given the first term and a recursive formula. For example, the recursive formula is a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 3, where a sub 1 is equal to 5, and find the next four terms of the sequence. This will be the solution. So again, given the first term represented by a sub 1 is equal to 5, and the recursive rule or the recursive formula is a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 3. You copy the first term which is a sub 1 equals to 5. And then for the second term, a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1. a sub 1 is taken from n minus 1. The n now is 2. Minus 1 is 1. That is why we have a sub 1 plus 3 is equal to 5 which is the value of a sub 1 and then copy 3 which is equal to 8. For a sub 3 that is equal to a sub 2. So, we have now n minus 1. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. a sub 2 plus 3, which is equal to a sub 2 is 8 plus 3, and this is equal to 11. For a sub 4, we have a sub 3. 4 minus 1 plus 3 equals to 11 plus 3 equivalent to 14 and a sub 5 is equal to a sub 4 plus 3 and a sub 4 is 14 plus 3 which is equal to 17 so the next four terms of the sequence are 8 11, 14, and 17. Let us have another example. Find the first five terms of the sequence. Given the first term equivalent to 3 and the recursive rule or the recursive formula which is a sub n is equal to 2 times a sub n minus 1 plus 5. So the solution, citing again the given, we have a sub 1 equals 3 
And the recursive formula A sub n is equal to 2 times A sub n minus 1 plus 5. So, copy first A sub 1 equivalent to 3. And for A sub 2, that is 2 times A sub 1. N minus 1, that is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, 2 times A sub 1 plus 5 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 5. And 2 times 3 plus 5 is equal to 11. For A sub 3, we have 2 times A sub 2 plus 5 which is equal to 2 times 11. A sub 2 is 11 plus 5. And that is equal to 27. For A sub 4, that is equal to 2 times A sub 3 plus 5. Is equal to 2 times 27 plus 5, which is equal to... 59. For A sub 5, that is equal to 2 times A sub 4 plus 5 is equal to 2 times 59 plus 5 equals to 123. Therefore, the first 5 terms of the sequence are 3, 11, 27, 59, and 123. Do you have questions? If there is none, let's proceed. Next, I'm going to give you examples on recursive form of a sequence given the terms of the sequence. So, example number one. Find the recursive formula and the next two terms in the sequence. Given 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, and so on. The first solution. Given 7, 12, 17, 22, 27. Identify the first term, which is 7. Second term, 12. Third term, 17. 4th term 22 and the 5th term is 27 so for the 2nd term that is 12 2nd term is equal to 7 plus something and what is that number to be added to 7 in order to have 12 so that number is 5 so 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 and 12 is the value of the second term and expressing this in a general expression we have a sub 1 plus 5 for a sub 3 that is equal to 12 plus 5 equals 17 the value of a sub 3 is 17 so in order to use the second term, which is 12, you add 5 to get 17. And the general form of this is a sub 2 plus 5. For a sub 4, which is 22, you have to break it into 17, which is the value of a sub 3, plus 5 is equal to 22 and the general form of this is a sub 3 plus 5 for a sub 5 which is equivalent to 27 we have to break it into a sub 4 plus 5 the value of a sub 4 is 22 plus 5 is equal to 27 and the general form is a sub 4 
plus 5. So considering these general forms here in this corner, then we have the recursive formula. To get the nth term, we can have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 5. The constant number is 5. Next, for the second solution, we have now the recursive formula which is a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 5. If n is equal to 6, because we need to find the next two terms. So using the recursive formula, all you have to do is to substitute 6 to n. a sub 6 is equal to a sub 6 minus 1 plus 5. a sub 6 is equal to a sub 5 plus 5. And a sub 6 is equal to 27 plus 5. The value of a sub 5 earlier is 27. And a sub 6 now is equal to 32. And for n is equal to 7, the seventh term of a sequence, then we will have to use again the recursive formula. We have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 5. So n is equal to 7, that is a sub 7 is equal to a sub 7 minus 1 plus 5. a sub 7 is equal to a sub 6 plus 5. And a sub 7 is equal to 32. The value of a sub 6 is 32 plus 5. And finally, we have the seventh term, which is 37. Therefore, the next two terms in the given sequence 7, 12, 17, 22, 27 are 32 and 37. Let us have the next example. Find the recursive formula and the next two terms in the given sequence 3, 7, 15, 31, 63. So the first solution, copy first the given 3, 7, 15, 31, 63. And express this in this form. Identify each value. Identify the value of the first term, which is 3, the second term 7, third term 15, fourth term 31, and the fifth term is 63. So first, you will have the second term which is equal to 7. And 7 is coming from 3 times 2 plus 1. A sub 3 is equal to 15. And we can break down 15 into 7 times 2 plus 1. For A sub 4, which is 31, we can break it into 15 times 2 plus 1. For a sub 5, we have 63. And we can break it into 31 times 2 plus 1. As much as possible, you have to find a pattern or a rule in order to have your recursive formula or recursive rule. So, in this manner, you have 2, which is the multiplier of 
the number represented by the terms and you have an addend which is 1. And with this, we can express this in a general form. 3 is the first term times 2 plus 1. 7 is the second term times 2 plus 1. 15 is the third term times 2 plus 1. And 31 is the fourth term times 2 plus 1. From these general rules of each term, we can have the recursive formula, which is a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1. As you can see, we have a sub 5 here, and then it becomes a sub 4. So, we have to express this as a sub n minus 1 times 2 plus 1. Then we can simplify. We have to write 2 before a sub n minus 1. So the recursive formula is a sub n is equal to 2 times a sub n minus 1 plus 1. Do you have questions? There is none. Let's proceed. For the second solution, we are going to use the recursive formula earlier, which is a sub n is equal to 2 times a sub n minus 1 plus 1. So, to solve for the sixth term, we have n is equal to 6. Using the recursive formula, all you have to do is to substitute 6 to n. So, a sub 6 is equal to 2 times a sub 6 minus 1 plus 1. And, and simplify. We have a sub 6 is equal to 2 times a sub 5 plus 1. Substitute the value of a sub 5 which is 63 in the previous slide so we have a sub 6 is equal to 2 times 63 plus 1 and a sub 6 is equal to 127 if n is equal to 7 then using the recursive formula a sub n is equal to 2 times a sub n minus 1 plus 1 all you have to do is to substitute 7 to n. So a sub 7 is equal to 2 times a sub 7 minus 1 plus 1. a sub 7 is equal to 2 times a sub 6 plus 1. a sub 7 is equal to 2 times 127. Because the value of a sub 6 is 127 plus 1. So a sub 7 is equal to 255. Therefore, the next two terms in the given sequence, 3, 7, 15, 31, 63, are 127 and 255. Do you have questions? If there is none, then see you next time. Bye!